We're still going to only focus on one button, but at the end of this, we will copy our code over to all of the buttons. So far, my program works when I press the Q on my keyboard, but I want the Q to look like it has been pressed. In the looks blocks, there are three blocks I will use to do this. First, I will pull out A, change size by 10 block, but I will change the 10 to negative 10. Negative means smaller, so this will change the size to be smaller by 10. Look at the Q. When I click this to see what happens, it got smaller a little bit, which makes it look like the key is being pressed. Now we need to pull out a change size, but positive 10, to make it go back to its normal size. When I click on both blocks, you can see it look like a button pressed. Let's put these two blocks together to see what happens. Nothing. I don't notice anything. Looking at the blocks, why do you think this is? The program runs the code so fast that they cancel each other out, and we need to slow things down in between the two blocks. For that, I'll go to the control blocks and choose a wait one second block, place it between my purple blocks, and change the one second to 0.2 seconds to shorten the wait time. The button now works, but look at what happens if I run my code really fast. The button is getting smaller because it doesn't have time to grow before I click it again. To fix this, I'll get one more purple block called set size to 100% and put it at the top. This way, every time the code runs, the first thing it does is resets the button to full size. Do you remember before how I told you to use a start sound block instead of a play sound until done? If we had used the play sound until done block, it would have played the sound first. Then only after the sound was completely done, it would have shown the button press. We want it to all happen at the same time, so we just start the sound allowing the program to immediately move on to the next blocks. Now, it is time to copy the code over to all of your other keys. After it's copied, you need to change the letter on the when key pressed block to match the letter that you are coding. 